All right, we're doing a skincare routine here. And this is what I do for my skin. These are the products that I use. We have the turmeric, the CK oil, and the K-Skins. That is my product of choice. So here we're gonna go in. I have my lip gloss that is also by K-Skins. I'm gonna wet my face down a little bit with some water, and then we're gonna apply the cleanser. The cleanser is Purity, I think it is. Um, apply that, then I have my Clinique ultrasonic brush that we're gonna use. I'm gonna use that, it goes for three minutes and we'll uh, cleanse with that. I'll click it twice, so a total of six minutes. I do the bottom half first and then I go in and do the top half. And this is like, um, I was very, very into cleansing my skin before chemo. Um, once I had chemo I kind of slacked up, I had a couple of facial breakouts and all that kind of stuff in between. So I have went back to my facial uh, daily cleanse twice a day i exfoliate twice a day morning and at night so we're gonna rinse this off and i prefer you know you use like if you have those uh facial towels paper towels you can order those out for amazon those would be perfect for your skin i just used the washcloth today so we're gonna rinse those products up that product off and then we're gonna go in with our toner the lemon toner helps to actually uh helps to tone that skin as well um you can use whatever toner you want, uh, you choose to, but this is my preference. And then um, we're going to use that turmeric oil and then mix the CK oil together. Get those on the skin and get it moisturized. I use two little pumps of that. I combine them together, then I put them on my skin, making sure I get a little bit on that neck area. After we do the, the oils there, I go in with my... Uh, K skins which is a um, sunscreen and it's also a moisturizer so it does have a little bit of tint so it helps to make you glow a little bit so it blends on in with your skin tone and it kind of helps you um, helps that skin to glow naturally glow uh, most sunscreens you use it use leave like an ashy tone to your skin but this one here actually doesn't do that it, it blends very very well for us in the skin without that ashy or that uh, white look so I love this. I've only been using it for about a month, but I am actually loving it. All right, here is my hair care routine. Um, these are the products, the Miel Leave-In. I have the Care Care Leave-In. And then we have the Miel uh, Gel. And then we have the, uh, the uh, foam mousse. Uh, so always make sure you wet your hair before you try to comb it. It makes it easier to comb through it. So I'm, here I'm wetting it down, spraying it down, and then we're going to put the comb through and then comb it through um first step we want to do once we get it combed out is go in with the leave-in conditioners so i add they use the two together um mix them in put them throughout the hair and then um once i get those leave-ins in i go in with my uh, miel gel i use a little bit of that get that uh, emulsified through the hair then i'm gonna go in with the uh camella rose foaming lotion the good thing about these products, all you have to do, I haven't put anything on my hair in a couple of days, but you get up the next morning, spray your hair down. I always spray your hair down with a little bit of water. It kind of helps reactivate what you have in the hair instead of using more products. And I'm using three pumps of that. And I just kind of go through and get it through there, rubbing it in really good, making sure you get the hair saturated really well. And it doesn't really take long to dry. Um, so I'll finish up my face routine while I... Um, allow my hair to dry and you'll see it when it's dry i'll leave it like it is um until it dries and you just let it dry in place so you don't comb it out or anything just kind of let it dry in place it looks totally different from <laughs> just with no products on it so make sure you're using some products on your hair and i'm just kind of pulling some out around the edges and kind of feeling it out <clears throat> okay. and making sure i get the back the edges just making sure i get everything saturated really really well so here we're going to actually uh add a little bit of eyebrows we're going to fill in those eyebrows here just a little bit little little something for the day not much just a little something make you feel look good and those points where i'm pouring at that's where you want the end to end you want your beginning the arch and then the corner and you don't want to pass that point when you're doing your eyebrows and i use my little brush to kind of get that pencil to uh, spread it out some here I have the Juvaris that is a uh, concealer, I believe. It's a concealer. 
So we're going to use that just around the bottom of the eyes. And I'm going to use this underneath the eyebrows. And just a little lighter than my skin tone. So that's what I want to use. And I'm probably going to have to do uh, get a different uh, color makeup. Because my skin tones, so, you know, use, some people use a uh, different color in the wintertime than they use in the summertime. So I haven't worn this since the summer. So, <laughs> yeah, here I'm just kind of uh, pressing it out with my sponge there. And I do rinse my sponge out after each use and let it dry. It's normally dry in the morning. So rinse them out. It don't. If you rinse them out right away, then you don't have to worry about the makeup staying in the sponge. And here we have the Zuvarous um, foundation, cream foundation. I take a little bit, put it on the back of my hand, and we're going to take that across the top of that eyebrow just to blend that on out into my natural skin comb. So that one is more my skin tone. So yeah, we just blend that on out and get rid of any ble blemishes that may be up there. Just kind of make those eyebrows look a little sharper by doing that. And I like to take this, this little brush has a little angle to it. So I take that and just kind of blend it on out. And I love that foundation because it's like, it's a perfect blend. Just finding the right ones for you. So yeah, that's my, my preference of foundation. But I don't normally wear a lot of foundation. So yeah, this is just one I use when, like I said, I just want to highlight my brows, you know bring it out a little bit and then of course you know you have to add your earrings which i did put on my paparazzi gold hoop earrings those are gorgeous <laughs> and then we are going to do a little bit of eyeliner so the eyeliner just help define the eye a little bit more bring it out make it pop you sometimes you don't always want to put on lashes it's just going to make it pop a little bit and we're going to add some mascara to it and it's just a simple day and just that little bit changes your entire look you know not a lot of foundation, not a lot of eye makeup, just your brows and your eyebrows makes a difference. And you add just some lip gloss. So it, that makes a difference in the way you look and the way you, you feel. So yeah, and do a little something to your hair. And it doesn't take that long. So here we're going to add uh, my lip gloss. And the lip gloss that I'm using is also by K-Skin. It's not tacky. It's a good little consistency and texture. And I love the shine that it gives. So yeah, I'm loving it. Like I said, I've been using this product for about a month and it is lovely. So here's that finished look on the hair. It's, it has dried up. And there we are. You guys have a great one.